Things don't always work according to plan. So let me tell you something. It's okay to not have one. I did not have a plan. I had a passion which I decided to pursue and eventually everything fell into place. You know when I was 5, my family used to encourage me to sing and dance in front of guests uh, at family gatherings. And I used to be shy at first, maybe even awkward, but I gave in to their requests. I realized that um, I was enjoying being the entertainer. But this is the same family that conditioned me to believe that the mantra to live a successful, ideal life is: you grow up, you graduate, and you find a decent job. This typical middle-class Marathi family of mine, as expected, was not very thrilled about my acting aspirations. And actually, um, back then, maybe even I wasn't very convinced about it because I didn't have a role model to point out to and say, "Hey, if she can do it, I can too." Plus, I was comfortable with having a plan. You grow up, you graduate. So while pursuing mass media in my graduate school I happened to volunteer at a theater company and got to be a part of a youth theater festival which I helped organize I was happy because I got to be around the theater world and my family was happy When I started working on this festival that festival turned out to be a turning point in my life because when i witnessed actors perform on stage i realized that that's where i want to be i realized i wanted to be the storyteller i wanted to be the story and i knew that if i did not pursue it i was going to be extremely restless and unhappy so i gave in to my gut and i decided to convince my family but it took some courage and a lot of cajoling for my family to finally give in hesitantly so but they gave in i thought it was not that bad a beginning i had a bumpy start because i knew i wanted to be an actor and that was that so i decided that i'll figure it out as i go along and i tried to do all the right things like i started looking for work i started auditioning made sure i was on the radar as mumbai kids we are trained to face rejection every single day because uh, no matter where you want to go you will have to go through at least three rejections before some kind soul comes along see the thing with auditions is that no matter how good or bad you were at it regardless of your performance you should know that if an audition has to translate into an offer that is not in your control what is in your control is to give your best and let me tell you not a lot of those auditions actually translated into offers but they turned out to be some fantastic learning experiences for me it was not just for my skills it was because i also learned to build resilience so I'm sure this is something that we all have experienced. Failure makes it very easy to give up. And if failure strikes multiple times, it becomes even easier. But I realized that I shouldn't give up and I kept at it and I'm glad that I did. Because like with the rickshaw walas, you never know who will actually give in to your plea of taking you to your destination. but just because six of them said no to you in a row doesn't mean you'll give up on going home right you will have to find an alternative you will have to hustle nothing's going to come easy not having a plan actually turned out to be quite useful for me because when i was in the middle of trying to figure out what to do i chanced upon the internet when i started with the internet which was about a year and a half ago we've all been we'd all been used to watching comedy sketches online but the concept but the concept of web series or web shows was pretty novel not a lot of people had given into it 
When I started my web journey with my first web show, which was a news satire comedy show on a YouTube channel I still continue to work with, I realized the power of the internet. Because the show got a boost from all over the world, from different parts of the world, people started writing to us. That cup song, that happened on a whim too. I was just chilling one fine afternoon at home and I was playing the cups and singing different songs on it and I decided to make a video. So I called my friend and said, can you come over? I need somebody to hold the camera. She got her phone camera and I'm sitting at my house and we've recorded this and I uploaded this video with the tring tring of the bicycle in the background. If you listen to it keenly, I don't know what all other noises you'll be able to hear. But I put that video up anyway and the attention that it got was unexpected. This something that I did without too much planning, just for fun, turned out to be a game changer for me. It opened so many more avenues for me, gave me so many new opportunities that it makes me wonder what it would have been like had I spent time to think and plan how to make a perfect video. You know, a lot of us are forced to make very important decisions very early in life. And we are not even sure what we want to do. I wasn't. And that is okay. The answer lies in experimenting and doing so fearlessly. Everyone does not have a chalked out path. If you decide to be an actor, your journey and my journey is not necessarily going to be the same. You know some prying uncles and aunties or some family members or fam uh, family friends had asked me this. Your sister is a scientist? How come you, you chose to do this? I mean, my elder sister, I do look up to her and she does inspire me but I didn't have to become a scientist to prove that. In fact, I don't think I've told her this either but there was a point in my life where I wanted to do everything that she did. I wanted to go to the same school as her, same college. Eventually, I realized that it was okay to not do what she was doing and she was still going to be proud of me. Albert Einstein once said, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb the tree, it's going to spend all its life believing that it's stupid. You might not be good at one thing, but you will be better at three others. I learned this the very hard way, but you cannot make everyone happy. What you can do, however, is make yourself happy and that is very, very important. So be brave, have faith in yourself, figure out what makes you happy and go do it. Get a job, leave a job, dance, sing, fall in love, carve your own niche. But most importantly, learn to embrace the randomness.